everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all right. It's currently the 8th of December, it's a Thursday. And this is gonna be the second moving in vlog. Very, very effing overdue. But you girls just ha had a busy life. Third year has got your girl booked and busy. So unpacking was on the bottom of the list. I still haven't even done it yet. And then my cameras broke and I was like, I wanna vlog it, I don't wanna unpack. So basically I've just been putting off unpacking until I'm vlogging it. So here we are, we're back. I got my extensions back in yesterday and they look really cute. And then we went to this GHD party and I got it curled. And like, it's really nicely. And you know me, like if my hair does not look nice, I don't feel nice. Like if my hair looks like shit, I will feel like shit. I feel like my hair is a big determiner of my mood. And I feel like my hair looks nice like now, right now because I've had it curled, so I'm in a good mood. Anyway, just had got some breakfast on. I'm just doing some seminar work. I'll show you what I'm doing because it's our last, oh God, what happened here? It's my last seminar of semester one tomorrow which is really sad and I want to be sick actually because where the fuck is this year gone? Like where's this year gone? I don't even remember living in that old flat for like two months. I don't even remember that. I don't know where this year gone. Anyway, this is what I'm learning. Um, this is my desk setup. Some cute books that I got from the library. So we're doing the Axis Alliance in World War II and then these are the three things I have to read today. So I'm just going to get right into that, you know, the Imperial Neckers, is that how you spell that? The Second World War. Uh, basically it's about Italy and Germans relations in Second World War II, in World War II which is actually really interesting and I'll probably do it as one of my exam topics in January so like I've got to focus, I've got to get it done. But anyway, I'm gonna, it's only half 12. I need to take my phone off, do not disturb, because I actually miss important things. Um, and I'm gonna go and get my nails done uh, at like quarter to one. I've got about an hour to do this work and have some lunch, because this is the current situation of my nails. My nails have never looked this bad. Like this one, poor one, literally ripped off. This, is, this was like raw and it really hurt. So I'm just gonna get them all filed down. Hello. I'm just gonna get them all filed down and just get pale pink. Because I can't be dealing with this life. I want biab gel, I want strong gel because my nails keep breaking. Anyway, just literally been sat here all morning, gonna do this work now. PSA, if you didn't know, I am doing Vlogmas on my TikTok. It's not going very well. I've done day one, day two, and then day seven. It's not doing, it's not going very well, but from this point on, I'm gonna do it. Just because, like, I went home and whatever. So, go and watch day one, day two, and day seven. <laughs> Link will be in the description, because they're actually really cute vlogs. Let the moving vlog commence. Also, how cute is this top from Naked? Boston, Massachusetts. I don't know if I'll ever go to Boston, but it's a cute top. Like, I wonder if people in America walk around with, like, Birmingham, England, on their top, because I'm doing it. Imagine, like, Macclesfield. No, what's it? Yeah, like, Nottingham. Like, imagine if they're walking around with, like, a Nottingham. Surely not. Surely not. Maybe London. Oh, hello, big cannon camera. Look how big it is. Look at that lens, everyone. Also, this is my very sad breakfast. I've had egg on toast, but like I've only had one egg, so I've had to make the egg spread over two pieces of toast. And it's not great. It's not a bite of my my egg bagel. Have you watched my vlogmas from yesterday? No. Mm. Is that for real, Jack? Yeah. Well, that's what I had this morning, but with rye bread. Yeah, I've only had it on bagels. Yeah, have, try, have some rye bread. It's really good. All right. Also, it's a lot of fiber, so it's it makes you poo. Ew. It is much um, much later now, and I don't know why this look why this light looks so orange. I don't know why it looks so orange. It's literally fine. Um, anyway, 
I went to uni. I didn't really vlog um, much because I kind of forgot. I just forget. And I was rushing. But anyway, me and the history girls, we went for some Wagamamas after the seminar. And then I just nipped to town to get some presents. Nothing too exciting. Maybe I should give you a haul, actually. Yeah, let me go and give you a haul. If anyone's watching, I don't think... I only got presents for like mum, dad and Mary and I don't think they'll watch this vlog. It's been literally Baltic. It's been absolutely Baltic in Manchester. Like it is so cold. Oh my God, my hands could not function and now it's just gone really foggy. Like it's not even, okay, it's just turned four and I got in, I think I got in about half two and I was like, you know what, I'll sit on the sofa and close my eyes for like half, for like an hour. And I was just exhausted. Anyway, this is what I got. This is my haul. This light is just not grey. I put the light, but it's so dark. I've like turned this light on because I just have my bed, my um, desk lamp, but I think I need to turn the lights back on. But anyway, first present I got, this is probably a joint present for like mum and dad. It's from Hotel Chocolate and it's like this big, it's like a chocolate selection box, but it's in like a big cracker. And they had them on display and I just thought it was a really nice like Christmas gift. You know when you want to get someone chocolates but you don't want to get like just like a boring tray of chocolates. So this was, it's got 40 festive chocolates individually wrapped, 12 paper hats and 12 jokes. Oh bloody hell, I didn't even realise that. Anyway, that's the first thing I got. And then for Mary, I don't think she'll watch this, but it'll be fine. For Mary, I got her this little penguin, which I just think is so cute. Like, I wanted to get one myself. They're just adorable. And I got her a milk one, but they had white ones and, like, salted caramel ones. And then for Mum, pretty boring. Pretty boring. Um, I just got her some number seven skincare. And they had three for two on, so I think I got the eye cream for free. So that was all right so i got her them um and then i think i got something else did i not oh yeah where is that the last thing i got was these lip liners and lipsticks from nyk or nyx cosmetics because i got the lip liner in shade london and then i got this like lip butter thing in shade butterscotch and i swear someone uses this combination um, so I got two pairs. I don't know if I'll keep a pair for myself and give one to Chin. Because I don't think Mary uses lip liner. Or like I might give like the combination to like a live or something. I don't know if she'll watch this. But if she watches this, whatever. So those are the little presents I picked up. I did quite well. I think I've pretty much all done for presents. And I think I'll wrap them tonight. But anyway. I'm going to have a nice little festive evening i'm gonna make some banana bread obviously this is the moving vlog so i'm gonna unpack but first i have an essay due up let me move you okay so my essay is discuss the idea that the coronation that was elizabeth ii in 1953 was both forward and backwards looking in the context of broader national and international developments in the 1950s so it's a loaded question there's lots of things you can say so I've got section, I've split it up into three sections and I'm just lacking in section two because basically I'm going to do like people's opinions at the time of the coronation to see if the public thought it was, you know, modern, traditional, outdated, blah, blah, blah. I put some face tan on this morning and it's like grabbed in the wrong places and this is why I don't put it on but it's fine. It comes off after a couple washes. Anyway, I'm just going to put some study music on. This is what... This is the music I like to study to. Oh, this bloody hell. You know when you just like need background? Fucking hell. It's loud. You just when you... Oh my god. You know when you just need background noise to like help you like revise and concentrate that's not... Because I can't sit in silence. I think that's so depressing. So I... I'm subscribed to this YouTube channel, which is like jazz, like rain sounds, and it's really nice, and they have Christmas editions out. So this is the one I put on. It's, it's muted right now, because I just was talking. And it feels like you're in a coffee shop or something. But they have like so many different displays. That they've got coffee shop ones, but I just think this is really warming and Christmassy. What's this called? Midnight in Christmas City. 
Midnight in New York City with cozy apartments, soothing jazz. And look, it's snowing. I just love that. So I will just put that on and I'll just do some work. It's currently four. I'm gonna do, I think, two hours of work. Um, and then I'm gonna get cracking with the unpacking. I don't know if that rhymed. And I've also got ingredients to make a banana bread. <gasps> oh, are you fucking kidding me? I was supposed to get eggs today and I literally forgot and I don't want to go out there. It's so dark. I don't want to go and get eggs. But I want to make this banana. Oh, I need chocolate chips as well. <gasps> Fuck. Okay, I'm going to have to walk to the shop at six. Let's get working. Hello. Hello. All we can see is your eyes and forehead. Uh, hello. Show them your tree. Yeah. Metro girl. <sighs> Show you my tree. Metro girl. Ooh, show me your presents. Woohoo. My wrapping paper is nicer than yours. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Mine's like candy cane. No, red scooter. No, it's not. Red scooter. No, it's not. I'm a candy cane kind of girl. Anyway, I've done some work. Um, but I kind of just like. Ugh. Give up with it in the end. And I want to make some banana bread. Right, are you going? Are you staying? Yeah, I'm going. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. It's about six o'clock now. And like, I've had these overripe bananas in my kitchen literally since we moved in. I, I bought them from the old flat. Because I was like, I have to make banana bread with these. Put all my ingredients down here. What do we have to do first? Um... Mix together the flour and sugar with the love water. First, in this bowl, we're going to do the flours and the sugar. So 235 of plain flour and then 150 of caster sugar. That says grams on it, doesn't it? Yeah. God. I haven't baked. I did bake once last year. I don't know. I really miss it, though. Like, uh, baking is, like, sort of my... It's not my therapy. Like, I know some people, like, go to the gym for their therapy, but baking is really... It's really mine. Okay. These girls are actually really good. What do Americans say? A cup of flour. Whatever. And then 130 grams of pasta sugar. So the funny thing about me is... I always had... Let me open this. I always have baking ingredients in the cupboard. Um, even if like I'm not gonna bake, I will still have baking ingredients in the cupboard. I think it's just like a comfort thing. It's just like if if I wanted to bake cookies, I could. I think it's just that knowledge. And I feel like even if you know I get my own house one day, like I'll always have baking ingredients in. Okay, bro. Flying through this flour and sugar in there. Right, this is the hard. Not the hard part, but we're gonna mash the bananas up. Three bananas. These are like really fucking ripe. Anyway, I hate touching like soft bananas. It makes me feel icky. Like I like bananas, but not when they're like this. This is too too ripe for my liking, but they're good for banana banana bread. Ugh, I hate it. I literally hate it. Okay, for real. Oh shit, I'm supposed to be doing a fucking TikTok how to make banana bread. Shit, right. I can't multitask, honestly. I really can't multitask. I can't do two things at once. Like, I either do my essay or I make banana bread. Like, I can't film YouTube, talk, and do TikToks. But I'm gonna have to, because I wanna make a cute TikTok. And I'm doing Vlogmas. But I'm just smashing up the bananas now. Yeah, if you don't follow me on TikTok, go and follow me. It's a whale of a ride over there first TikTok clips. I don't know what to do. Like, just go like, oh God, that does not even, that does, but mashed banana does not look appetizing for one second. Okay, that will do. <laughs> I don't even know what that was, but that will do. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that my plan for Christmas, well, before Christmas was me, Soph and Chim were gonna go all to New York. Um, but it's funny because Sophia's boyfriend booked her a surprise trip literally over the dates of New York because he didn't realise because it wasn't like a solid set plan. 
So she was out of action. And then I was already thinking this before Sophia dipped out. But I was like, you know what? Like my essay is due next Monday, but I'm gonna try and get it done for the Wednesday. But I was like, look, if I still have to do that essay, cause I just know myself, I'm a last minute kind of girl. If I have to do that essay, like I cannot be on a time zone and have like an eight hour flight because I'm just, I'm just gonna be so stressed. So we've ditched New York idea. There's always next year, there's always the years ahead, like it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, add the eggs, two eggs. It's gonna be all right. So I think me and Chintia might just go to Paris for the weekend, because it's just like, just wanna do something Christmassy, just to celebrate like end of semester one. Um, and I really like Paris. It's just nice for three nights, because we can get the Eurostar, and I don't really wanna fly, I just think the Eurostar is so much easier. Like you literally just get at St. Pancras and then you just get on a train and then you're in another country. Like it's so easy. I don't and I don't understand anyone that flies to Paris, honestly. Oh shit, I'm doing my TikTok. Nice. Not the most appetizing. Not the most appetizing thing ever. Oh. Also, I love banana bread and I have the coolest tin ever, I'll show you. Right, melted butter 115 grams. Gonna get my little my little scales out again. These were, I think these were from Wilco or Argos. Um, and I've just got some stalk butter. Oh my God. Who has taken, well, it's not me, I know. Maddie has taken a dip out of that and she's got breadcrumbs around it. Do you guys use stalk on toast? Because I certainly don't. I would never dream about putting this on butter. I think this is just for baking. It's just strange. She's a strange one, that Maddie. Ugh. Right, 115 grams. There you go, microwave. On 200 degrees. My new microwave is really strange. Like it doesn't, you know the microwave, like it turns. This one doesn't, you just like put it in the middle and it just heats up. Like I just think that's so weird. It doesn't have like a rotating thing in it. I think that's weird. I just love bacon. And I also got some milk chocolate chips. So if you eat banana bread without chocolate chips, you're a widow. You're a widow. And I bought two. Not one packet. Oh, I forgot to add baking powder. Let me just add a sprinkle. Right, this goes into the wet mixture. I'm actually gonna film this by TikTok, even though it doesn't look remotely appetizing. Mmm, all the liquid ingredients in there. I don't know why I'm using a fork. I should probably use a wooden spoon. Giving that a good mix. I do not like the smell of melted butter. Um, right, next step. This is, we're flying through this. Fold the wet, oh I need to add vanilla, fuck. I don't know if I have vanilla. Fold the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients until combined. Fold in half the chocolate chips and then you sprinkle some chocolate chips on top after. Beautiful stuff, right. I don't know if I've got vanilla. Right, how am I gonna film this? This is when I need Matt to come and help me. Right, we'll do half. We'll do half of this, ready? Amazing. That was real easy, guys. Mm, this is what it looks like. Not that you can see. I feel like bananas, with you know that little like brown things in it? I think it looks like brains. I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks like brains. Anyway. Ooh, this looks nice. Ooh. I love some Christmas bacon on this channel. Okay, that, I think that's pretty much all combined. I'm just gonna add chocolate chips. Okay, this is the tin I'm gonna use. I'm a bit apprehensive. I've never used a tin like this. It's like an upside down one, so obviously it will pop out like that. But obviously I was gonna sprinkle chocolate chips on the top, but I just think, I just think I can't put chocolate chips down there because they're all gonna stick to the pan. So I don't know if to do like a light dribble of mixture, then put chocolate chips. 
I don't know. Or should I just put all the chocolate chips in the mixture? Because I just don't think it's going to work. Maybe I'll do a layer of chocolate chips. All right, this is going to be an absolute mission to film. Just all the way around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's hard. I can't rotate my arm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, okay. A bit more this side. And then we could put some chocolate chips in there. Nice. Okay. Last bit. Let's go. Let's make sure all that's covered. I think she looks so pretty. She's so heavy. Oh my God, she literally weighs a ton. But that is gonna go in the oven now. I don't know how long, let me see how long I've got to, how long has it got to go in there? 55 minutes at 175 degrees, amazing. I put the banana bread in the oven. She's ticking away, it's gonna be like 50 minutes. And I thought I would build my rail. Sorry, I've just got one family on. <clears throat> I thought I need to like redo my this this tan on my face. It's just not looking cute. So I do apologise. Obviously, this is the moving vlog, so I need to actually unpack. I can't just sit here and make banana bread. Anyway, I've had this rail. I literally bought this in summer. This was for my original bedroom because my rail broke in my bedroom. So I bought this. It was like £10 from Ikea. Um, but I've made this like wheelie thing. So easy. Literally so easy. But now I've got to like construct, you know, like the... I don't even know how the fuck to build a reel. But these instruct... This is what I'm currently working with. So number four, I've done that. Oh, okay. Now we've got to put things... I've just got to put more screws on the outside of this so it stays in place. You've got to put one of these on one side and then an actual little screw on the other. This is some complex work, guys. How does this work, then? First one up, where, are you? Where, 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 where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the first one. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my God. I just got a whiff of banana bread. I just got a whiff of banana bread. She smells amazing. God, I'm loving this DIY life. Oh, right. I'll oh, wait, wrong end. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is what the situation looks like in my wardrobe corner. So I'm thinking of putting the rail here and then maybe I just get another rail because they are quite small, I didn't realise. And obviously I've got my wardrobe. Um... So I'm just gonna unpack, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start guys. Like that's why I just haven't done it because I just feel super overwhelmed with it. The thing about this apartment is we don't have chest of drawers and we had them at the last place. And I used to just like shove a lot of things in there. So now I'm lacking those like four big drawers. I'm like, where the, where the hell's everything gonna go? Um, but it should be all right. I think I'm gonna start off unpacking the suitcases and just making a pile of clothes um because maddie stole all my storage boxes but it's fine but this is the rail really nice she's a bit diddy but apparently you can like lift this up like this comes up so yeah she's a bit small but we love her guys you don't understand this smell right now she's got shush i'm vlogging she's got 17 seconds left can you see that? She's looking golden. Oh, I'm too excited. I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to open it. Oh, whoa, my camera just steamed up. Nice. She's a little bit burnt. She's a little bit burnt. My new oven must be fast tracking. She's caught a little bit, but I feel like once I flip her over, she's gonna be gorgeous. 
Okay, I've made somewhat of a dent in this corner, but I really need to move this because this is where the rail's gonna go. But I've got some jackets in there, and then I thought, Mads has stole my storage boxes, so I'm just gonna use these boxes until I get some different ones. I might just like go denim over Christmas. But up there, I've just put my jumpers and then just like bags up there. So it's getting there. I don't actually know what I want to put inside the closet. Maybe just my coats. Um, yeah, maybe just my coats. That's a bit boring though. Like, do coats go in it, the closet, or do coats go on the rail? Like, do I put coats on the rail and then like trousers in here? I don't really know. What looks the neatest out? I don't think trousers would look very nice. I think trousers should go in here and like nice tops. And then I think maybe coats out here. Oh my gosh, I really don't know, but this is the box of all my tops. So I'm gonna separate it into bodysuits and then like t-shirts um, and then put it in this, put it in below my wardrobe, but you know. The reason why I haven't filmed it sooner is because my camera broke, like the whole back of it that like flips up so you can see that, that fell off and then like broke, obviously broke my camera. So I ordered one straight away, I ordered this one, but it didn't come for like two days. So I was like, shit, I can't film. So I've just had all these boxes waiting for me to film. And look, I've just found all my disposable cameras. So I'm gonna go to Boots and um, I don't even know what the fuck are on these. Right, that's run out. That's got seven pictures left, so I can use that. That's run out. Ah, oh, this is a brand new one. It's got 17 pictures left, perfect. So I want to get these developed because I literally don't know what this on them. You know what? I think one of them is from the girls' bathroom last year. They did one in like November last year. And I think this is one of them from girls' bathroom. So I really need to get these developed. I don't know if they're expired or what, but I'm going to take these to Boots next week when I'm home. Another box down. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, it worked! She looks so festive. Like, you can kind of see the patterns here. Can you see that? She looks so festive. I haven't even had my dinner yet, but I'm going to have to have a slice of this. Because this looks insane. I'm going to put her over here. But, oh my god, if you could smile this right now. Look at that banana bread. Oh my god. She looks insane, guys. Right, I'm going to have to cut her. Oh my god, wow. Literally, look how perfect she is. Insane. I'm going to do my be real with my cake right in front of me. Right, I'm going to try this. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know you just can't believe that you made something. Maddie's literally missing out right now. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just too excited right now. Right, we'll finally try it. Wow. That is one of the best banana breads I've ever made. I'm gonna have to FaceTime everyone. I'm showing them a banana bread right now. Right, now I'm gonna have to have dinner. But that extra layer of chocolate chips that I put in, phenomenal. Phenomenal, I'm Mary Berry. Okay, she's in. She's in, she's in. Right, I'm gonna put the coats on here for now because they're taking, taking up the most space. And then I think I'll just wrap it up for today, but I'm gonna, I don't know why I can stand you up. I've just been pottering around the house, but I've just made some pasta. Um, my secret is I melt like three mozzarella balls in it so it goes like all really stringy and it just adds that extra little bit of something so I'm gonna eat this now it's literally about half nine I have not stopped and I'm just like damn I've actually done so much today like I've done so much I haven't done enough of my essay which is what I was supposed to do but I've done a lot. I've literally like unpacked half my room. It looks way better. I wanted to film a flat tour in this vlog, but because Maddie's not here, it's hard to like clean everything and like make it all actually look presentable for a flat tour. 
So, I'm going to film that next week. Um, and yeah, that'll be so a little video, which will be good. But I'm literally just sat here watching Modern Family. Because what else am I... What else do I ever do? I've just uploaded my banana bread TikTok. So if you want to go and watch that. My TikTok's literally just Lily Bader Zillo. But I'll give you a little sneak peek. Oh. Did like that. Oh. Look at me. I'll use this song. So cute, no? 